Hey, you are back at it again for another glitch video. Today we are going to be going over a new exploit with the weapon, which is going to consist of the Ashes of War and an arsenal of your choice. So whichever one you would like to use is up to you. So let's get into what we need. We first need to make our way from Academy to the Rose Church. We are going to go directly behind it because we need to take out a scarab. As you continue to make your way towards the west, you will come across a few enemies that you can dodge. It's not it's nothing that's going to cause you any trouble. So if you are a new player, you can make your way through this easily. Now once you head far enough, you will arrive at Rose Church, which is located to the left side. You can dodge the enemies as I just mentioned. And then to the right side, you will see the golden scarab. Now once you do take out the scarab, you will then receive a spell called Blood Flame Blade. So all it takes is about two or three strikes, you'll take the scarab down, and then you'll receive the spell that I just mentioned. Now let's open up our map, and let's go directly towards the snow field. We are going to locate a specific Lost Grace, which is called the Hidden Path, and we are going to pretty much arrive here so that we can locate a caravan. The worst part about arriving at this map specifically or this region is that it is completely covered by a whole entire snowstorm so all we have to do is pretty much go along the path on the map that I just showed you right there and you should locate the caravan when you are trying to locate this caravan I highly recommend just going down this dotted path as you see on the map and just go around there and you should eventually end up arriving or meeting up with the caravan so let's proceed on forward here and let's see if we can find it there it is so if you get up on top of here and you notice that you cannot grab the item this is because you need to stop the two beasts up front or at least you know just stop one of them so that the whole entire caravan stops all together like so then we want to dodge that guy because he's going to try to attack us and let's get up there open up the chest you will then receive the saint trina's torch if you already have this item then awesome you can then proceed on to the next step as for this next step we want to locate an enemy of our choice for this example i'm going to be using the rune farm for the dragon and show you how effective it is with this glitch we are going to activate the blood flame blade onto our right side and then we are going to then use the trina torch or more so swap over to the trina torch and then use it on the dragon as you can tell right away the blood is just going down insanely and you can then just rinse and repeat this this is going to probably be the fastest way that you can take out this dragon and gather runes in a fast timely manner I mean this is one of the best ways to not only take out this boss but to take out several ones in the game just by simply using the Saint Trina torch and the blood flame blade all we want to do at this point is just continuously spam the ashes of war button until the health is completely down to zero or until you see the dragon twitch like so and then we want to get on top of our mount and head directly back towards the loss of grace and we are going to then interact with it when we do this you will notice that the dragon will pop back up and we can then rinse and repeat these steps there you go that's the blood flame blade glitch which is highly effective not only against that boss yet a few others if you are curious as to where this location is this is located right here at fort ferreth i do want to note that if you do not see a dragon here this is most likely because you have already taken the dragon out or you may have accidentally messed up on the glitch in the past. Let's talk about a second glitch that you can do with this Blood Flame Blade, and precisely the Black Flame Blade we are going to be using in this instance. We are going to then make sure that that spell is memorized, and after that we then want to go over to the Smithing Master, and we then want to apply an Ashes of War to one of our weapons. It does not matter which one it is, for this one, I'm going to be using the Glenstone Pebble, and we want to make sure that it is set to quality. I had shown this in yesterday's video, or two days ago, but yet all you need to do is apply the Black Flame Blade, and then use your Ashes of War. You will notice that the health was decreasing, and this is all because of the Black Flame Blade. For some reason, it works on Ashes of War, so you can take out fellow players or, you know, NPCs from far away. You can use this on different Ashes of War, which can be pretty effective in many cases. So yeah guys, I hope that you have enjoyed the video. 
If you are not subscribed, make sure that you are, turn on the notifications, and I will see you all on the next video.